Ginger out in New York Harbor celebrating Shark Week. Uh, George, I have to tell you, Shark Week is hitting really close to home tonight. The show is called Sharks and the City, New York. And yes, it is narrated by Sex and the City's very own Mr. Big, Chris No. So, Craig, your special's on tonight. The question is, are sharks headed to Manhattan? Great Whites? We're going to find out. Take a look. <laughs> George, we got a Great White Shark! Move over, Jaws. New tourists are swimming to town and taking a bite out of the Big Apple. If I could just catch one, that would go a long way to understanding why these white sharks are patrolling just outside of New York Harbor. Shark conservationist and marine biologist Craig O'Connell has been tracking great whites off the New York coast for 10 years. I want to know why these sharks are returning. What's bringing them back? Cleaner water for one, but also a growing seal population, the ultimate shark bait. Just west of Brooklyn lies Swinburne Island, where seals are on the rebound. When you have seals, you could eventually have some very large great white sharks. It's been more than 300 years since New York City has seen an abundance of marine life, including the great white. But now maybe it's time the city gains a new mascot. A New York great white shark. Probably fast, big teeth, and a lot of attitude. So Craig, you've been doing this for a long time, and we saw in the piece, seals are the first indicator, but why else do you know that shark, the great white's coming here? Well, we're beginning to get cleaner waters here in New York. We're seeing a lot more prey species. We're seeing whales, and all of these are indicators that the environment's getting healthy. Okay. And when you have a healthy environment, you're gonna get sharks. Okay, and you get so close. Your cameras are right there. How are you doing this safely? Well, this is my favorite piece of technology right here. It's a faded camera trap, really, really simple device, PVC, bait, a GoPro, you drop it down to the sea floor for about three hours, then you retrieve it and you hope it's all mangled because mm -hmm. that's a sign that a great white may have absolutely <laughs> destroyed it. And then you watch all the footage. So it's a really simple tool for me to survey the waters around New York and what we actually saw literally changed the way I see the waters wow. around New York forever. But we also have this new device. This is called the FinCam. It was inspired by my friend Andy Brandy Casagrande. And it's a really simple device. You catch a shark, you put this on its dorsal fin, and right here, after three hours, these will corrode, and this will pop up to the sea surface. This will send a signal to the boat so I can try and find it. But the beautiful thing about this right here is that there's this awesome camera, mm. and as a shark swims around, we see everything that the sharks are seeing. We're gonna learn about the biology of these animals, and it's gonna help us conserve the sharks in New York waters. Now, I know in the special, you can't say exactly where, but it was a popular tourist destination that you saw a great white. So what do we tell kids? Now that we're telling them the great whites are coming, how do we stay safe? I think instead of instilling fear in kids, we need to really tell them the truth about sharks. And sharks are incredibly important. We need to teach them that these animals can balance an entire ecosystem. And I also think that we need to tell kids that it's way more dangerous to be walking around New York City. <laughs> in 2016, yeah. more New Yorkers- it was, Bit each it, other. Yeah, it was literally, <laughs> they were 10 times more likely to buy bite Great. other New Yorkers than thank sharks you so biting much. humans. Thank you, thank you for the info. And guess what? Sharks in the City airs tonight on Discovery.